what's up guys? Russ with RWG Research here, <clears throat> giving you a quick update for those of you who caught the live show last night. I was on for a little bit, uh, starting the building of the winder jig for the EPG. Um, I got it uh, to the point where I can show it to you. The rubber band that's running it is terrible, so don't worry about that part, but let's do it. So here it is. Um, again, I want to thank Hawk491000. It's a YouTube username. I'm not sure of his name yet. But uh, he uh, basically thought up the idea. So I'm basically replicating what he's got because it seems to work real well. Um, so here I have an aluminum bike rim that was donated to me. Um, I did cut it right here and then uh, spliced it back together with a little plate. Uh, inside there you can see the plate and the bolts um, it fit together real nice again it's uh, pretty round uh, and then I took some caster wheels and these do have bearings in them and I machined the edges um, to fit inside this without uh, hitting it I guess it's it fits real nice in there there you can see how it fits in there it doesn't hit the bottom it actually hits the side so it's it's riding on the edge now uh, you can just grab some casters uh, that fit on the rim and you don't have to worry about it, but I have that little lathe, so I took my time and made those a little bit nicer than what uh, how they fit before. Um, here is another caster, and it is, uh, it's been cut. I cut a groove in it, um, and then it's hooked up to a 12-volt DC motor. I believe this came out of a pump for like a sprayer like a roll around behind sprayer for like your yard I think that's where I got it and this controller this is a home brewed uh, DC pulse width modulating controller uh, it'll handle up to probably about a hundred amps without exploding but it'll probably blow up eventually um, but uh, it's got three MOSFETs on it, a 555 timer and it's hooked up to this uh, potentiometer now what this was originally was for was a electric skateboard that I built and unfortunately, I can't find any footage of me riding it, but I rode it everywhere at college. Uh, it was great fun. And then I burned the motor up, and the project went to pots. This battery is probably about dead, so this isn't going to run real fast. And like I said, uh, my rubber band right now is literally rubber bands tied together, and the knots don't even fit into the to the holes here. And that one right there, that, that causes some minor issues. Um... And the main minor issue that this knot causes is some very bad vibration. So once I get this a little bit better, it'll the vibration will definitely calm. But uh, as you can see, this uh, just spins free in here. So I'm going to set the camera down here and let you see uh, what I got. So, there you go. Uh, you should be able to see this little flag right here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and crank this up real slow. I'm just going to turn it on real slow so you can see it running. The motor squeals because the controller. I got some caps on it and stuff, but it's not. Uh, that portion is not working the way I want right now, so just bypassed it. Uh, Alright, that's just uh, real slow speed. Let's see if I can get you a, a close up. the rim is kind of bumping around and stuff that's that knot hitting kind of a bad deal so uh, I'll go ahead and crank it up here be wrapping them coils like no time Slow it down with my potentiometer here.
Again, it's bouncing around and stuff because uh, that rubber band's hitting everything as it goes around, but it actually spins real freely. getting a really big giant like one inch yeah I lied half inch uh, arc electric arc it's now it's generating static electricity <laughs> let me do it again ow oh oh yeah you guys gotta see that see if uh See if you can actually capture this spark. <laughs> I saw it. You guys have to go go hit the replay for that one. But uh, anyway, it's really all I wanted to show you guys. Um, I won't be able to work on this for a couple of days now. I'm going to pop this haggard rim uh, rubber band off here. There's my fantastic high-tech O-band. Uh, but really what I wanted to do is spin this. I'll show you show you how uh, how smooth it really is now I told you guys that uh, were watching me live that I was gonna put a spring on here and I probably still will um, but it fits inside this groove. You can see it's a little loose, but you can see it fits inside this groove to the point where it's not going to fall 